Hello and welcome to another video. So today's video is both a tour of my sticker collection as well as a reorganization of my stickers. That has been a long time coming. So this is about two years, a little over two years that I have been planning and collecting stickers and things like that. And I... I wouldn't say my stickers are disorganized for the most part. They aren't in a pile. You know what I mean? They're not all mixed up. They are in like albums and binders, but it's not consistent and they definitely aren't organized in a way that's at all easy for me to utilize. So first I'm going to show you what the situation is and then we'll figure out how to fix it. First, you've got my stacks of loose stickers. I found these while just trying to find binders. These are character printables that I use fairly often. This is the weekly kit I'm using in my memory planner. This was last week's memory planner. These are stickers that I used a week ago. These are doodle stickers that I made. I don't know why I pulled this sheet out. Date covers I often reference and then Stickers from a setup weeks ago that I never put away. So there's all of that. These are loose stickers as well as these that I just kind of have stashed around my desk. And these are causing me the most stress because they're everywhere. But I knew that I wanted to reorganize my system, so I didn't want to take the time to figure out where they ought to go because it's probably not where they're going to stay. The sticker system that has lasted me the longest is probably this. I got this little album in a GP Sticker Studio like um, monthly subscription kit and I use it for all of my foil but the pockets are starting to rip and my foil is not very organized so this something has to change. I don't know what. It's super thick. Something has to change. Some of this I probably won't even keep because I won't ever use it. So I also have to work to decide what stickers I don't want at all. So that's this notebook. Then in this other notebook, I have just random stuff, small stickers that I've gotten mostly from Simply Gilded, more foil things. In this notebook, I put most of my character stickers and keep them here. But honestly, I hate this pocket. I think it's hard to pull them in and out, which is why I leave them out most of the time. And this is not organized. There's no rhyme or reason for why they are where they are. Okay, so those are all my smallest sticker books for like character stickers and icon sheets. I do have this reusable sticker book from Once More With Love and Michaels. And it works okay. It definitely isn't amazing. The stickers do stick um, pretty hard and they're kind of hard to take off, but it's doable. And I will probably utilize this still. Still thinking about that. Something that's not really going to change in placement or organization is the sticker book I have from Cultivate What Matters for my power sheets. I really only break this out once a month when I set up my power sheets, but I'm not upset with this organization. It's all in its own little book and it's for a specific purpose. So that is going to stay basically exactly where it currently is. This is a four by six small album from Happy Scrappy. This is the best album I have. This The quality of this one is really, really nice, but it is almost full and it has, it has like a lot of things. I used to put just my super special character stickers like from the Fox and Pip and the Coffee Monsters Co. and Once More With Love. It had runoff character stickers, random script stickers, and then just, just random stickers. Also, for whatever reason, it's where I've been storing my fairy loot tarot cards and that has to change because I just can't. I don't know why. I don't know where to put all of my journaling cards, but I also don't want to just keep mixing them with my stickers. 
All right, this sticker book also isn't going to change. This isn't what I'm looking to sort through right now because I like how it is. It's very simple. This is my Plum Paper sticker book and it holds my Plum Paper monthly subscriptions. And I just keep them in here, all my leftovers from various months. And then it also has, when I plan those months, I use these YouTube stickers, so I keep them in here. And then this is set next to my reading planner, so I've also slipped in my most used reading stickers at the very back. And this has been working, so I'm not going to change that. This is a sticker book I haven't even looked at for decades because I forget that I have it and I need to I need to get it to a point where I can actually use it. So it's this little, I think it's like A5 binder I put together a very long time ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And I don't even know what's in here anymore. There's a random paper clip, more script stickers. I didn't know I had an adhesive pocket, a like a rewards card. So many things. Okay, and then I had this organized, but it's not going to stay like this at all. So I was using these sleeves and I started by putting sticker kits in here, I guess. I don't even know. Bullet journal stickers. Random like grab bag stickers. Partial kits, some full kits. This is functional stickers. Old and Condren stickers. Character stickers, but like not really, just a lot of bow seals. And then a ton of Hobonichi stickers from Christian designs that I'm, I don't even use because I'm not using the Hobonichi right now. Sampler. A whole pocket of samplers. And then a sticker sheet that came with my teacher planner last year that I never ever used. And then more freebies. And then some calendars I made before I switched reading planners. This is a mess. That's what that is. I have this sticker book that just came with a Simply Gilded subscription box and it's mostly empty still except for the things that came with that subscription box so this has to just get organized. This sticker book that is seeing days, it's seen better days because I spill stuff on it. But it has a lot of kits mostly. This is where I put kits that I intend to use soon. Most of these are planned for my 2019 memory planner. There are a handful of spreads in there that I haven't gone back to do yet. I have notes and things from the time. I have the kits picked out. I just haven't sat down to do it. Then new kits, some of which I recently printed. Icon doodles grab bag stickers, more journaling cards because I don't know, why not? Reading stickers, this random cruise ship sheet. I've never been on a cruise. This, extra reading stickers. And then at the back, more bullet journal stickers. And then some extra stickers from a kit that I probably should just get rid of. That's that book. In this book, another Simply Gilded box, I just have the stickers that came with that box for the most part. 
and some seals. This is where I've been collecting my Simply Gilded stickers. This is the only sticker book I have that fits them. Really? It might fit in here. I have my four Happy Planner sticker books. Those are going to stay right where they are, as they are, so I won't go through that. Then I have this, but something really has got to change with this. This is a binder I put together of stickers I printed and cut, and I thought a binder would be a really easy way to keep them organized, but not really, because it is a hard way to actually use them, to have to break this out. I have all kinds of things. Lots of date covers, lots of like functional items like checklists, some quarter boxes, I think. Yeah, half boxes. And it smells kind of weird because in our old apartment, there was not a lot of ventilation and every time the kitchen smoked, which it did a lot because I don't know. I don't remember what we were doing. Now it smells kind of smoky. I think it's from like searing things. I think my boyfriend is practicing searing meat and like learning how to cook. And so that meant that <laughs> there was always a lot of smoke. I have these stickers that I made. Like a ton of bow icons. Air Condor monthly things. When I was trying to do expense tracking, get an Erin Condren, an extra kit, have trackers. Headers. Some of which I probably don't need at all. Full box stickers, water tracking stickers, random washi strips that I don't ever use because I forget they're back here. Some more character stickers. And then this is how I used to collect lots of extras. So it looks like some of them have gotten wet. And all of this is gone. Mm -mm. Sticky notes. I don't remember what I was doing with that. And I think that's everything. So the first thing I want to do is get everything out and organized by size and by type as much as possible. So I am going to speed through that with like some music or something and I'll come back once everything is out.
Okay, so I've reached this point and it's while going through this that I realized that I kind of want to go at this by sticker size and sticker category because I'm going to run out of space on my desk. So some of the larger stickers, I'm not going to finish sorting through at this moment. I want to start with some of these smaller stickers because I am more familiar with how I want to store those. I have a ton of freebie die cuts here. I don't know what I will do with those quite yet. So before I do that, the one thing I want to do is check for other small stickers. And there are certain books where I know I don't have any of those and certain books where I do have a few. So I want to just pull those next. Okay, so I started by taking all of my character stickers and I divided them into ones I'm most likely to reach for most often and then the ones that I feel like I will use very rarely. So these are stickers that I have. I haven't used them historically very often and I'm not really sure when I might. Usually if I have these, it's because they were part of a larger printable set and like there were four kinds on a page and most of the time I can't figure out how to edit only one onto a page so I printed them all out and now I have these that I am less likely to use or I printed some out and cut them and thought I would use them and then now that I'm organizing them I'm not using them very often so that gives me two categories and I think that I want to put the ones I use most often in this book somehow if possible because I really like 
this book it's just nice and then anything that doesn't fit in this book the next simply gilded sub box comes with another sticker book just like this and i think that that's how i want to organize them i just want to make sure that they fit i'm not 100 percent sure yeah okay so that's what's happening here these that i use less often i think i'm going to try to fit in here Actually, no, I'm just going to put these to the side because it will depend on how much space I have if I want to use these. Because these, since they're the ones I use less often, they are low priority for where I store them because they can just be stacked somewhere unless I figure, until I figure out how to better store them. So for now, I'm not doing anything with them. And these, I'm going to try to figure out how to get in there and I will probably try to categorize them somehow. Okay, so I think I've put those into sections that work. These few sheets here are drink related, mostly bubble, bubble tea and tea. These are related to sleeping and taking naps. I don't know why I have so many of these. I use these to, not, to mark when I take a nap most of the time. Late night self-explanatory, the days that are really lazy and I didn't get much done. When I'm very tired. Yeah. Oh wait. I missed a set. I'll find it. These are any character stickers that are in couples to mark things that I do with my boyfriend. They're usually pretty general so that I can use them for anything. These are baking sheets and cooking sheets so mostly baking but also this one for like when you've had too much to eat these are movie watching sticker sheets these are work related for the most part so like a teaching sheet school sheets laptop working backpacks that kind of thing this is reading and planning so reading Planning, planning, reading, silhouette for planning, YouTube, reading. These are to mark gaming, so I have a couple of different laptop stickers for that. And that's different from this. This is when I play video games with my boyfriend. This is when I play video games on my own. These are like different kinds of shopping stickers. So 
Walmart and Etsy are a couple of my most frequented stores, which is why they have their own sheets. But then this one says buy groceries. This one's just someone who's been out during the day. And that's the extent of those. Cleaning sheets. And then these are miscellaneous. They didn't really have any one category that seemed to fit them. Some of them are mostly decorative. Yeah. And now that I have these categories that I actually like, I'm going to go back to these least used stickers and just check to see if there's anything that I want to move into one of these piles instead. So now I can stick things in here. So I think that I want to start with these and these because I know I fall from these two categories the most. So, and then these. So let's start. So I mostly ordered them by type. I reach for these a lot because not only are they technically gaming stickers, I think that's what the sheet was called, but they can kind of look like you're reading a book. So sometimes I use these to mark when my boyfriend and I read together because this is how we look, like piles of blankets and then our books. And then this is a collection of like just a couple of more special occasion stickers. I use these on like anniversaries and these are for when I'm gone for a while. So, put that in. Next come my selection of Lazy Day and Napping stickers. I take a lot of naps. I'm trying to get on a regular sleeping schedule, but it's been touch and go. So, sometimes I take naps. And I think unless I run out of space, this is, I don't know, I feel like it's a waste to have this sheet all by itself. For now, that's what I'm going to do. There might be adjustments that need to be made. After that, I know I want my work-related stickers. So those are school, that's general laptop work, backpacks, laptop work, backpacks, and school. And I think I'm going to put the backpacks with school too because that's the context I would use them in. So these were easy to sort. Next, my gaming stickers, I'm just gonna stick them in because there are really only two types. These, this is planning and reading, so I think I want to just separate them. These are cleaning stickers, so they can go in just like this.
Buffy shopping stickers. I want to put the Walmart stickers with the grocery shopping stickers. Those together and then the Etsy stickers. I have the food stickers followed by the drink stickers then the movie stickers then miscellaneous some of which probably need to also go into the rarely used, like these I don't often use. These are, that's decorative. These are just rarely used, but sometimes necessary. That's a decorative sticker, that's a decorative sticker. This is a special occasion sticker, and I think I'm actually going to put it already losing track of my stickers over here just because it's also a box and pip sticker okay those are decorative that's decorative decorative I'm gonna move these two rarely used Of my decorative stickers, I have Simply Gilded, Coffee Monsters Co. Once more with love. And the Pansies prints. So I think I'll just lift them up by sticker shop, kind of. surprised those fit okay good so there's that next I'm going to hold off on these again just until I figure out exactly how much space I have for the things I really need um, space for I want to sort through my script stickers and decide how to do these So this is my stack of rarely used, well these are both rarely used but they're further categorized. These are random and rarely used. I don't have plants, I don't meal prep, I don't have a lawn to cut and I'm unlikely to label everything, anything as a shopping haul. So I'm just going to put those in the rarely used pile as well. These are food related stickers that I might use. And I just wanted to make sure this one was on top because this is the one I'll use most, like, more likely to use. These are to-do stickers, homework and school stickers, class, and whatnot. I might use these. These I won't use because I don't, I'm not in school right now. So I'm going to also put them with the rarely used stickers. Same with study. Those are things I could probably send to my sister.
cleaning stickers. This is going to be really used to buy, to do, school, really used. Planning stuff, and then Netflix, just kind of random. But one that I may use. And I wonder if they'll fit into the back of this, if I have just enough space. Let's see. And I did. So this is officially the sticker book I'm probably going to be pulling from most often. It has my most used character stickers as well as my most used script stickers, which means that when I'm planning most of the time, I really only ever have to use one book, which will definitely be very nice. It barely fits, but it does. So that's that, making lots of progress. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is organize my samplers in here. I don't know what the method of organization is going to be, and I'm not going to redo anything I've done already. I'm just going to kind of stick things places and hope for the best.
Okay, so I think I finally got through all of my samplers and there was some orders. So these are like Once More With Love Related, Coffee Monsters Co, The GP Sticker Studio, Chrissy on Designs, Bows, Boxes and Icons, More Boxes and Icons, Boxes and Icons, Character Stickers of another kind, or seasonal. Strip stickers, extra full box stickers, some random decorative stickers. I put a few in the rarely used sticker pile. And yeah, so that's that. This book and this book. My collection is looking more manageable these days. Okay. So what I have left are my foil stickers, which are here for the most part, my large stickers, and then everything in this book, and in my binder, which are also ultimately going to be large stickers. And that is going to take me so long. So this is going to definitely be a multi-parted video. This is the end of the first part and I'll be back to show you the second half where I get through these stickers and my bigger stickers. So thank you so much for watching this installment of my sticker collection reorganization and I will see you next time. Bye!